Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, for those who've watched my videos recently, you've all seen this little grinder. Brilliant piece of kit, but the only problem with it is that if you put too much pressure on either of the grinders, it stops. Now, in this video, we have got a new toy and if you put too much pressure on it, I don't think it will stop. All we're going to do is you're just going to gently move it down the um, garden on the sack bar. So we've moved it down here and we just plugged it in. We've got the most manly switch on the planet. You get all these switches where you just push it. And then it turns on like the, the like a um, newer but old pillardrill, if you know what I mean. Um, but this one is proper manly, pushed out a tough one. We even got the drinks on there. They're not even moving. It's just nice and quiet. When you got that com compared to. This. That is a lot louder and it's smaller as well. I'm very, very pleased with this. Right, so all I'm going to do is we'll get the um, air hose hooked up to the air compressor. We're going to blow all the dust and um, grit off the sander just so we don't do it in here and all the dust and rubbish gets all over the machines and potentially ruins them. We're going to do it out there. And then we're going to uh, bring it in here, just in front of the pillar drill here. That means, well just temporarily for now, that means I can still get to the vise and pretty much use the pillar drill if I need to. That's just going to be temporary. We were thinking of putting it down by the fly press on the right side. Um, I can still m move around the anvil um, and use it there. And we're going to keep this small one, uh, which will be brilliant for just deburring and stuff like this or whatever. Um, that we need to deburr rather than switching on that great thing you know, and then turn it back off. Right, so we've got it in here. Um, so now we're going to do is much like the Pillar Drew and the Vice video. If I'd like to go see them, click on the top right corner. Gonna take it apart, clean it up, and put it back together. Right, so we've got a lot of the tools we need, so let's get started to take this apart. Got all oiled up, greased up. I think we're just about done here. As you saw, this comes in and out really smoothly now. And last time I had to get, put a great big effort into it just to 
Look at this. It just does it lovely. I plugged it in and... Oh, I can't go even smoother. Yeah. I think we've just about done all that up nicely. I think we've just about done it. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This isn't really a restoration video because it was already in good nick. Um, but it's more of a tidying up, greasing up, oiling up video. Um, getting a new toy. <laughs> so yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, comment what you liked, what you didn't like. Also, this um, sander here came from Matt. I've mentioned him in a load of videos um, before. He is one that gave us the anvil log. Load of metal outside, brilliant. So give a thumbs up for Matt. Give a comment um, if you're feeling generous um, for Matt. Really, really, really grateful. He, he's put a lot into helping the workshop and helping the channel and tools as well. I made a deal with him, made him a couple of things, and he gave me this. So yes, thank you, Matt. Give a like for Matt. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.